Hey mamas, I just wanted to share something really quick. Yesterday when I was driving, I heard something on the radio. It was um, like a fact, uh, a new study that they had came out with. And they basically said that there's a plane coming by. But the fact said that basically uh, the happiest, healthiest uh, people on earth are women who don't have kids and who aren't married. So when I listened to that, it really, I, I don't know, it just, it took me back a little bit. Like I sat back and was like, what? Like, how, how can we think that? Like, how can, why, why is that? You know, why do people think that? And so um, this morning I looked up the, the article and it's done by a, per, a behavioral science professor at the London School of Economics. Of course, economics, right? Because everything is surrounded about money. And so if you're a mother, um, it basically, like, if you are a successful woman who, who has a lot of money, I guess that would be the happiest person on earth, right? So... Um, one of the things, or one of the couple of things that the article says that um, basically, if you're a man, you should probably get married, and if you're a woman, don't bother. First of all, you're a professor who is studies behavioral science. What gives you the right to tell a woman not to bother? Not to even bother. Don't even bother getting married. Don't even bother having children because it's not worth it, right? It's it's completely just, it will make you unhappy and you won't be successful. It's just, my goodness. And then one of the other things that was said is women's health was mainly unaffected by marriage, but middle-aged married women reported more mental and physical problems than single women of the same age. Along with the health healthiest and happiest population subgroup are women who never married or had children now i just want to say i don't completely i do not agree with that at all at all whatsoever and the reason why is because there is a scripture there is a scripture psalms 113 verse 9 and that scripture is the very answer to what this article is saying that scripture says that he gives the childless woman a household, making her the joyful mother of children. So there is, there is a promise in the word of God that one, if you feel like you're barren or you've heard that you're barren or that you can't have kids, there is a promise that's saying that you will be a mother. He makes you become a mother. It's not saying that women who aren't, who don't have kids, oh, God's making them barren. No, you have the promise in the word of God to apply that to that situation. And you take that promise and you take it by faith, right? But not only will you be a mother and have a household, but you will be a joyful mother of children. That's the very promise of God. And if you receive that and you take that, and you hold God's word to your ultimate, to the ultimate authority of your life, then that is exactly the answer for you. And that is exactly the answer for this article and this idea that women are just are unhappy and they're miserable when you become a mother and when you're a wife. You automatically need wine. You automatically need coffee to run your day. You automatically need a long time. You need a spa day. And I don't discount the fact that, yes, you may need. I'm a mother. I have two kids. I have a husband. I totally understand that there are days when you are so frustrated. You're so irritated. You need a moment to yourself. And you can't even go to the bathroom without even being bothered or having a knock at the door right like i totally agree that all those memes all those statuses they're all so true so so true absolutely but the minute that we take that as that's just what that is that's just what motherhood is 
then that's the minute we receive that right by faith and we say oh that's this is just what mother is motherhood is it's a stressful thing that you have to get over you get over the toddler tantrums and then you get over the this age school stuff and then you get over the teenage years and then they move out and you retire no that is not it that is not it let's look at it from a spiritual standpoint let's look at it from the scripture and what the promises of god say that we can have and if the word of god says that we can be a joyful mother of children then praise god that's what i want let's start really accepting and allowing the word of god to come in and rule our lives and take away some of these things that we've heard um in the world that say this is how life is going to be and this is what is predestined for you no ma'am i do not accept that i don't accept it at all I, I i don't want that right i want what the word of god says i want it all because truthfully like who says who says that motherhood has to be stressful who says that your children have to act certain ways who says that who says it who is in supreme authority over your life right and man i just i've been thinking that for some time now how there is this kind of like overcast over women over motherhood over being you know in, in a household that there is automatically this stress and automatically this kind of like a bad sense of oh my god that it makes you feel like dang do I even want to have kids and the the very fact that single women may even contemplate having kids and getting married which is one of the best things in the world that could ever happen to a, a, a woman and, and a, you know a mother um the fact that w- single women may contemplate that solely because motherhood is portrayed as so stressful it, it is saddening it is very saddening it is um and another another point i want to really touch on is the fact that you know as a as a mother I I go through things you know everyone does we all do we're not perfect Um, but there is a joy there is a joy in knowing that you are discipling a human being a little mini you into loving the Lord with all your heart all their minds all their will and into just being an awesome human being and excuse me if if I was single I would have a little bit more money and I would travel more excuse me if I miss out on that which you don't have to right because you can travel with your family you can travel with your kids but excuse me if my life does not is not portrayed as successful because I don't have these things Or I have to have a pack of kids (laughs) traveling with me. And life gets a little stressful day day to day. Excuse me. But do not make that a thing. That in order for you to be successful in life. For you to have a good life and be healthy and happy. Don't get married. Don't have kids. What a joke, right? What a joke. And ladies don't accept that don't accept that amen so i hope this encourages anyone i I, you know i heard it and i was like i've got to i've got to say something about it whoever's willing to listen and whoever agrees let me know like let me know comment do whatever you have to do to get uh, in touch with me and let me know what you think if you you know think i'm wrong let me know too i really want to know exactly what what we what we're thinking about something like this because it's so true so bye